Okay, let's see. I'm trying to find my chat. There it is. There we go. Hi, everybody. You guys are always so nice to wait for me. I'm so slow with this technical stuff. <laughs> so slow. <laughs> hey, Scotty and Vicki and Deborah. I feel like um, Miss Penny on Romper Room. <laughs> and Bet and Danielle, Carrie, Bernice, Esther, Kathy, Claudine, Mary, Ruth. Hey, guys. Good to see everybody. I decided it was time to do a stream and start out the new year right. <laughs> um, I'm going to be, these cards you see here on the screen is, um, are um, some little, uh, they're actually half of an index card, each one. And I'm going to be using these to write on the back. The, uh, all the different techniques that we did in the first year of Mixed Media Morsels so that when we do our morsel mashup that I mentioned in the last video uh, I'll have these cards to draw from. So, I, as you see, I've been playing this week and uh, I, I took some of my, um, my many, many index cards that I still have uh, that have uh, excess paint on them, you know, waste, no wasted paint stuff. <laughs> so I've got, you know, all of these uh, cards, and so I grabbed a handful and picked out a few that I liked, and they already had their backgrounds on them. And I just started playing. Well, I cut them in half first, and then I started playing. And um, I've been adding things like uh, this little owl. You've seen some of these before. I used uh, one or two of them on the file folders that I was altering before. And they come from some gift wrap. And uh, magazine images like this one and this one. And, uh, and some of them just have some pretty colorful backgrounds. This was one card. I think it went this way maybe. I don't remember. Anyway, this was one card, and um, it just has, uh, I believe this was the Dr. P.H. Martin's India inks on it, and I just love the way it looked, so I just didn't do anything else to it except for give them a border. And um, some of these are not quite finished yet. Um, need a little bit of outlining of some of the elements. Some of them do, and um, these two were the same, too, and I've they had a white background, so I just colored the backgrounds different colors. And I thought that was fun because I wanted everything to look different, you know, not have repeats uh, in, the, in the little deck if possible. Uh, but anyway, this, uh, this little gal came from a, a very old, like from the either the 60s or 70s. I don't remember what the um, copyright date was now, but it was an old book I found at the thrift store. And it was about uh, making your own costumes. And so this little gal has a paper um, skirt, tutu, on. And um, I loved her, so I cut her out and uh, put her on uh, one of these little cards. I have the autofocus on. I'm trying out a new camera, and I do have the autofocus on. So I'm hoping that it's not going to do a whole lot of moving and, and you know, that disruptive thing where it kind of zooms in and out so we'll watch it and see if it becomes a problem you guys can let me know but I'm going to go through these and do what ne is needed uh, on those still and then I've got a few here that um, I've got a few elements picked out and and I have just the plain backgrounds uh, for and I'm just going to be gluing down some stuff and outlining some stuff and and just playing so you guys grab some of your stuff if you want to and you can play along and and uh, we'll have us a good time. Okay, let's see. Anybody got questions yet? If you do have questions for me, make sure you put your question in capital letters so I can see it easily and I'll know you're talking to me. Thanks, Susan. I'm just having fun playing around, adding focal points to these backgrounds. Okay, so I'm going to just get started then. I'm going to move these aside for just a minute. Just a couple of these need some, some more stuff and so I can call them done. <laughs> this one was done until I added the words. And I typed out this um, 
this little um, phrase. I typed it out on my typewriter. My, my daughters gave me a typewriter last year at Christmas and um, so that I could... Uh, uh oh, I see it's not focusing. Hold on. See if I can blank out some of that other stuff. Maybe it will clear up. Uh, I don't see that it is though. Not yet, anyway. It did just a minute ago. That's annoying. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I don't know about this stuff. There we go. Okay, so I typed out this little phrase. Uh, on my typewriter and cut it out and it's fun being able to use a typewriter because the the ink doesn't smear you know if it gets wet and you don't have a lot of issues like you might have with an inkjet printer so anyway it just needs to be outlined and then I can call this little gal done <clears throat> and I've got some washi tape on my uh, craft mat because uh, I've got the camera down lower and it's you know whenever I do that I constantly going out of frame and you guys can't see what's going on so that's why I put the tape down <clears throat> to hopefully help me keep keep you guys in the in the know so you can see what's going on okay um outlined now you see what I just did and scribbled right over the top of that thing I have a really good fix for that <laughs> you know that thing about one must one's a mistake that Shannon Greenism one's a mistake and um, a whole bunch is an effect well now the rest of these things are going to get some little marks on the inside <laughs> Okay. Hi, Marion and Dawn. And did I say hi to you, Suzanne? I don't remember, but hi if I didn't. So now all of these little boxes are going to get little wiggly lines inside because I made that mistake. And now it's going to look like it was supposed to be there. And it was. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this will let's see if this will focus properly and you can see what I'm talking about. I hope it is. There we go. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna call her done except I think now that there's white on this side, I need a little white on the other side. So I'm gonna get the Posca pen and um you know what this orange um border is the remains of one of my um, border morsels you know when I was cutting those little tiny borders from the magazines uh, for our appetizer morsel so this is what was left over so it just kind of makes an inverted scallop so I kept it and now it's getting used so I'm going to just put some little dots inside those little scallops just to bring some more white over to the other side of the page <laughs> yes, exactly, Betty. We we like dots. I got coffee. Anybody else have coffee or tea or anything yummy? Mmm. Love my coffee. Okay, this little gal, she's done, I think. I think we might put a tiny bit more just to make sure that they're visible. Brighten it up a little bit. Okay, so there she is. That one's done. This one is a, um, this little birdie is a stamp that my friend sent me. And um, I colored it in and was going to use it for another project and decided not to. And then I found it in my little uh, box of leftovers. And I decided to put it on yet another one of those rainbow, I mean, uh, painted circles that, um, scraps that I forgot I had or didn't realize I had so um, I was glad to find that and use it looks like the little birdie sitting on a rainbow 
So I'm going to outline the bird just so that I can see him real well. He sort of kind of, you know, melts into the background a little bit. So I'll just outline him. Yummy, that's right. Get your favorite beverages out. <laughs> Enjoy. Because <laughs> I am definitely going to be drinking my coffee. Okay. Sweet little birdie. Yes, Miss K. Marie, that's a, that's a good thing. Um, it's good to put this stuff in junk journals. It's awesome. It, it puts a pop of color in there, uh, especially if you have, like, you know, printed papers and stuff uh, in your, as your pages. It, it makes it look really, um, really bright and fun. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to help, Mary. Happy to help. Your hubby's packed up your craft room. Oh my goodness. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I don't blame you for needing a fix. <laughs> All right, I've got this little birdie on the on the little rainbow. So I think I'm gonna just stop there with that. I like it. I like it just like it is. And let's see, I like the little telephone one just like it is too. And I like this one like it is. And this one looks like it could maybe use a word like something white because there's a little white flower on it so I don't know um, just look through my words and see what I can find okay. for those of you who wonder what kind of words I use mostly anymore I use these Tim Holtz uh, chit chat stickers some of them are called small talk and their phrases and some of them are called big chat and the um and the words are bigger on the big chat the the words the font is larger so uh, and i get these at amazon you can get them most any place that tim holtz products are sold so craft stores and uh some of these i actually found it tuesday morning one time so Hopefully that means he's going to be coming out with some new ones. That would be nice. Okay, so let's see. What kind of word do we want for this little picture here? Let's see. Hi, Mark. Yay, coffee party. <laughs> That's right, Aunt Beck. <laughs> I don't know if I said hello to you or not either, but hello. <laughs> Hi, Ann. Yeah. Coffee. We're having a coffee party, Ann. If you like coffee, grab a cuppa. <laughs> Yay, coffee party. Mm. Okay. Got to find a word. I get hung up on coffee. Let's put the word life. I think that's kind of cool. Life. Or maybe everyday life because everyday life is creative for me. So I'm going to do everyday life. We'll put one at the top and one at the bottom. Okay. Everyday life. There you go. All right, now I'm going to outline those, and we'll call this one done. I've already outlined the edges of the cards themselves, most of them, in this pile anyway. Okay. Okay. 
Faith Unedited. Is that um, Kimberly? Is that your name? I'm trying to remember. I think that's right. Tell me if I'm wrong or correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's right. Good to see you. Uh, this black pen, Susan, is a Uniball Vision Micro. Oh, good. I'm glad I remembered correctly, Kimberly. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's been a while. Um, yes, this is a Uniball Vision Micro, and um, it has a fine tip, and the ink is permanent when it's dry. But you have to be sure that it's completely dry if you want to um, put a sealer coat on top of it uh, just to make sure that it doesn't bleed because it will bleed if it's still a little wet so uh, that's what that is I love anything that's permanent I love and it doesn't matter to me what brand it is or you know like who makes it or anything but if it's permanent I uh, I do like to to use anything permanent hey Rebecca and Michelle thanks for coming by you guys if you're just coming in I'm working on some some little uh, half half index cards, little small ones, and um, just decorating um, some that I already had created. Uh, I had created backgrounds on these cards uh, using uh, leftover paint, and so I decided to use those to uh, cut cut them in half and decorate them, uh, finish off the decorating, and then on the back I'm going to be listing each of our morsel techniques because uh, we're going to start doing some morsel mashup challenges every so often in the mixed media morsels group and um, I'll be taking this deck of cards when they're done and uh, I'll be pulling two or three for each um, challenge and then we'll create something excuse me we'll create something uh, using those techniques I think it'll be fun just to see what everybody can come up with hey Krista and Muriel Thank you guys for coming in. Okay. Um, yes, I do too, Cindy. I love working with cards and I love working with little things. <laughs> As I bet you guys didn't know that. <laughs> I'm all about the small stuff. I don't know what it is, but I really, really enjoy the small stuff. Okay, so these, these guys are done then. And this one is done. This one says it's a good day for a good day. And this one's done. She had colorful dreams. And this one is done. This one has a collaged background. Um, all of the stuff in the background is collaged uh, tissue papers and you know little painted painted paper bits and a, and a couple of napkins. And um, then I just put this other stuff on top, the heart and the reinforcement uh, circles that I had painted. I'm out of focus again. See, I don't know if I'm going to like this autofocus thing. See if I can get it into focus for you. Move these books. It might be trying to focus on that text. Okay. Let's see. This might be an issue when I want to hold things up. This will only happen during a stream, by the way, because I don't use this webcam when I'm doing my regular videos. There we go. So, I, uh, no, I have not altered business cards. Um, I have... I have painted on a few business cards that were blank, but I've never altered a, a, some, you know, a real business card before. But um, I do like them, and they're small, so they're, you know, right up my alley. But uh, anyway, I will only be using this camera when I'm doing a live stream. I can't use my phone for a live stream because, you know, iPhones run too hot, you know, if they run too long. So, okay, this little guy is, um, uh, this little card was uh, just wasted paint, unwasted paint, I mean, on the uh, index card. And then a little, a little guy that I was just piddling around been sketched out one day. I do not like the. This is not uh, focusing very well, though. I may have to turn it off and see if the focus is okay without it. Cause 
it is not wanting to do anything. I might need to get something black and white like Carla uses <laughs> when she's uh, trying to get her stuff focused in. Let me see if I can find it. Anything that like that. Hang on a second. Hang on. I know I have some black and white stuff here. Okay, let's see if this will work. Let's see if this works. Everything's in focus on the table, looks like, right? So maybe I can use this when I, whenever I need it. Okay, so anyway, let's see if it will focus up front. There we go. That looks clear. Okay, so anyway, this guy, uh, this page had, um, this card had unwasted paint on it and some tissue paper that had been painted on and um, just scribbled out this little boy one day when I was playing and he matched what, I w what was going on here, so I used him. And um, it's just, a, you know, a few pieces collaged, a little bit of paint, and that's all I'm doing on these. Just just playing around to have fun. Okay, that's the little owl you saw earlier. Um, he's done. He's done. All right, who's coming in here that I haven't seen yet? Eh. Muriel has a question. Oh, the measurements of these cards, these start out as a 3 by 5 uh, index card, and I just cut it in half. So that would be... Uh, Two and a half by three is the size of these little cards. Okay, and let's see, SJ Mixed Media. Hello, I don't think I've seen you here before, have I? If I, if you have been here, I, I just don't remember, but I'm glad you're here. Okay, and um, Heidi, hi. Um, yeah, I was just explaining to everybody, and hi Robin, um, I was just explaining that these, these are half of index cards uh, that I had painted backgrounds on uh, using up uh, leftover paint from other projects. And um, we're going to be doing, uh, uh, like I told in my last video, we're going to be doing some um, morsel mashups uh, challenges throughout the year. Uh, every so often I will take these cards and what I'm going to do is decorate the fronts and then on the back I'm going to write down all of the morsel techniques on them. So I'll be taking these, this deck and using these cards to draw some different techniques out to use for our morsel mashups and then we'll use those techniques and create a project and um, we'll see what everybody comes up with and I hope that you all will post them in, um, in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. And also, you can post them on Instagram and anywhere you want to, and we'll use the hashtag Morsel Mashups, okay? And that way, anybody who types in the hashtag of Morsel Mashups, uh, we can see all of them in one, in one spot. So, hey, Linda. Clay Cat, how are you? Yeah, they would make good journal cards. Perfect, yep. All right, so... Most of these, um, oh, good, SJ, good, it is your first time. Well, I'm happy to have you here, and I hope you'll come back. We have, we have a lot of fun. I don't stream on a regular basis. I just stream when the mood strikes. <laughs> so you'll just, I have to make sure you mark uh, mark your YouTube, uh, my you know, wherever you subscribe on my channel, there's a place to mark to receive notifications. So make sure you have that checked, and you should be aware when I, um, when I stream. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one as just a background, and I'm going to leave that one like it is. <laughs> Heidi, that's a very good question. Uh, there's a lot of times when I don't really feel motivated, and for me, um, I'm motivated by a lot of uh, seeing other people's art is one of the things and my one of the first things I will do is go to Pinterest and look at Pinterest and you know do a search for mixed media art and I will just look at what other people have done and that um, is extremely inspirational to me 
and um, when I still don't feel like actually going and doing anything but I'm just looking I will I will come up here to my art table and just do something last night I was wanting to create and I didn't really have anything in mind and I was a little tired and I I still wanted to create something so I started putting paint on a piece of paper and then before I knew it I had pulled out a stencil and I was stenciling on the paper <laughs> and before you know it I had a paper that looked like this and I just love it and it it was nothing more than scraping paint on a piece of book text and um, and then I used um, uh, one of those little spouncers and made some circles and I liked that and so once I had the circles on there and that's these light blue circles that you see in the background uh, every so often here you'll see it like a teal it's like a light teal color and that's what I was using this for it was one of these and I was just twisting around and making little circles and once I had that on there I was like well gosh I'm gonna put some more circles on here so I grabbed a mm -hmm. stencil <laughs> And um, I, I used this one. This is a uh, Donna Downey stencil. And I just started putting, sten uh, putting circles all over and then overlapped a few. And it just made me happy. And so, you know, before I knew it, see, I had a whole page created. And it didn't take very long to do it. And I felt a whole lot better after, I, after that. So that's what I do. That's what motivates me. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like it. I can't wait to tear it up and collage it onto something. <laughs> I know a lot of I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, oh no, don't tear it up. But that's exactly what I love to do is make little pieces, little little things like this. To me, I would love having that on a little piece. In fact, I did some of those circles on one of my um, on one of my backgrounds I had already created. While I had that stencil out, I um, I put some on this little card. So. Anyway, I love tearing those things and, and using them and then using all the little itty bitty bitty pieces that are left over. Okay, these are, um, this is a stamp, this little crow. It reminded me of uh, when I had a crow out there in the tree in my yard not too long ago <laughs> during one of my videos and he was carrying on. Um, so I like, um, I like that one. And this is a uh, one of my little border morsels on the bottom, and I stuck it on this card just simply because it matched the background, which was blue and yellow. And then I realized I actually had it kind of towards the top of the card. And then as I turned the card around, I realized it kind of looked like a fence, and so that's when the bird came into the picture. And then the tree came in to the shot, and it made a whole little scene. So I was I was thrilled with that one. I love it. And then uh, this one um, is a stamp uh, of a tree on the background with that little leaf shape in the background. I just loved it, so I just stamped a tree on it. It's really simple stuff, you guys, and it's just a matter of, you know, sitting down and doing it. And then you're, and then you've got, you know, tiny little pieces of art. It's fun. Okay, and this one is um, this one. I pretty much had everything on the on the background of this card except for I think the white and black splatters actually those dark splatters are, are dark purple but they look black on the on the card um, but it's just there was just so much pretty color I just didn't want to do anything else to it so I just added some little word stickers on that and hi Barry oh Lisa are you using somebody else's account? <laughs> Is that why it says Barry? <laughs> oh, thank you for coming by. I'm glad you're enjoying my art. Thanks. Okay. Um, let's see. Anybody else I'm missing here? Hey, Carla, I was just talking about you. <laughs> Were your ears burning? <laughs> Uh, no, I wasn't really talking about you, but I mentioned you because my I was having trouble. This, this is a new camera, and uh, I've got the autofocus on because I felt like it wasn't focusing very clearly, uh, just focused all the way down to the table. And so I said, let me see if I can find something black and white like Carla uses. So I grabbed this piece of uh, gift wrap <laughs> to see if I could get the, uh, get the camera to focus properly. So 
That's why I'm doing that because I've seen you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Your ears are ringing. That's good. <laughs> you knew. I, I was calling. I was calling to you from the beyond, <laughs> telling you to come over and see the stream. <laughs> Okay, and then this one I already talked about, but for those of you who um, are just coming in, this is a, um, let me see if I can use, I don't know if that worked. Let's try. Try using the book and see if it kind of helps block out some of the other stuff. Um, this was a card, uh, one index card, that I had um, used some excess, um, what did I call this? Dr. P.H. Martin inks. Okay, still not wanting to focus and I've got black and white right there in front of it so I don't know why it's uh, I don't know why it's not focusing see if that helps any there we go that focus let's see if I move it now if we got see if it'll stay focused okay. hi Eva thanks for coming by okay Yes, I like to watch Joggles. Uh, uh, Muriel, yeah, she does some good, cool stuff. Okay, so this was one index card, and I cut it in half, of course, and then I just added a border around it because I just loved all the mishmash of colors on the uh, on the cards. So that's what those two are about. And and then there's this one. That is just simply a background that I stamped uh, in black. I stamped that circle stamp on it. I think we're focused okay. Um, and then I wrote over the top of the black stamps with a white Posca pen. Alright, so those are all the ones that are done so far. And I'm going to need about 30 of these. I'm going to need about 30 of these so that... Um, I'll be able to have enough to write all of our morsel techniques on them. Hi, Angela. Yay, I'm glad you made it to the live to the live stream. Thanks for coming in. Oh, uh, all right, Alicia, thanks for coming by. I'm glad you got to visit for a few minutes during lunch. <laughs> Okay, so let's get down to working on some more of these. I've got um, a couple of things here laid out, um, the pieces that I've already cut that I may put on these cards. I don't know for sure if I will or not, but, um, but I've got a few things laid out just in case. All right, but I have to show you this one, though, because this one is so fun. So I had this little frog that I cut out of a magazine, and... I decided he looked really cute on the card, and then I had some of uh, my stamps, my eraser stamps, you know, stamps I carved from an eraser that I cut out, and I put those behind behind him, and I liked the way that looked, and then I decided he was so cute sitting there on the, on the plant with the leaves that I wanted to put, he was really cute, and I wanted to put the word smile up here, and then I thought, wouldn't it be funny if I could find a good smile to put on him? So I did. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angela. That's sweet. Appreciate that. So, how do you like my frog smile? <laughs> Yes, I do believe he is hysterical. He cracks me up every time I look at it. I just laugh and laugh. I just love it. Just because it's silly. <laughs> Yay. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like it because I think it's hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to get my get my leaves glued down behind there so I can get them in the right spot before I glue the frog down. Oops. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I 
I'd love to send them to you, Heidi, but then I wouldn't have a card for my techniques, and I really need to have it. So, But it's certainly something you can look for. It's easy to find little animal images, so frogs are pretty common, and that's just a smile from some girl in a magazine. <laughs> So yeah, you should make one. Okay, got my leaves in place. Whoops. <laughs> yes, I think he is visiting his dentist regularly. <laughs> oh, I think it's great. I think it's great. You don't have to worry about telling me you're teasing. I don't mind. I think it's fun. <laughs> He's got a pretty white smile. Okay. Now, oops, I knocked my scissors on the floor. Get my froggy glue down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. There we go. That's okay, Heidi. I still would love to send them to you. I wish I could. Okay. I think he's going to stay down. This was a thicker piece of uh, magazine, like maybe it was a cover or something. It's a little bit thicker, so I hope that will hold down. Okay, what's going on over here? <laughs> You're welcome, Angela. <laughs> I'm happy to provide chuckles. That's probably true, Linda. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use uh, a water brush. You guys have seen me do this before just to um, tear out my tissue word here. I stamped this word on a tissue paper. And if you don't know this trick, if you wet it, you can hold on to it and gently tear tear out your your image that you've stamped or your word that you've stamped and it it gives it a little feathered edge it doesn't give it a harsh line like cutting it with scissors would so it helps it to disappear better when you uh, glue it down onto your project so I can put this here and it won't it will look like I stamped it on there basically Yeah, you're right, Heidi. That would be a, um, or Betty, I'm sorry. That would be a fun challenge to do. All right. So I'm going to get some collage podge and put that down. On there. My, my bottle's almost empty, so I'm having to shake it down. Lori! Hey girl, what's up? <laughs> she Lori says she doesn't see any fly wings in the froggy's teeth. He must floss a lot. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. We sure do miss you. Looking forward to seeing your um, projects with the Robin Marie team. Sure are. Let's see if I can get that down a little bit. Then I'll put another coat on top. Here we go. Hi, Deb. From Deb's Craft Corner. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Betty's got the giggles now. <laughs> Lori, Lori feels like she needs to floss now. <laughs> That's funny. I think I'll just put a coat of this um, over the whole thing. Since I have it out, might as well, right? Some of these might need a little bit of a sealer, but for now I'm going to just do this one and get it coated and 
going to need to get an edge on him too. All right. Now I've got to wipe up the mess I made. Carrie, thank you. <laughs> well, thanks, Lori. You're providing everybody with some good dental hygiene today. <laughs> everybody wants to brush and floss now. <laughs> yes, Betty, now we need a card with a prince. <laughs> Okay, that one's going to dry, and let's see, maybe we'll work on this one next. Okay, so this one was just uh, paint uh, on the background, and uh, I had made some circles, uh, probably with my finger using up paint from the craft mat, and then I went over those with um, black and white scribbles. That's all that's on this one so far. So I think I'm going to add this um, arrow. Let's see if I can get this, get me a fresh page here in my book. Okay. Um, Kathy, these are uh, three by five index cards that I've cut in half. So they're actually two and a half by three. Put the same lips on the prints so we know which frog got kissed. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> that is funny. Anybody else arting right now? Creating something fun. Hi, Susan. I'm glad you found me. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I gotta cut the end of this little arrow off because it's a little too long hanging over. Oh, I dropped my scissors on the floor earlier. Okay. Oh, good. I love finishing things. It's it gives you such a good feeling of accomplishment to finish something. And I've had these out for a couple of days now, so I'm tickled to be doing this stream and being able to, you know, work on these some more and get them finished up so we can get our challenges started soon, hopefully. Are you guys um Looking forward to these morsel mashup uh, challenges I was talking about doing. Do you think it's a good idea? Oh, bye, Aunt Beck. See you later. <laughs> Oh, Cindy says yes. Okay, good. Thanks, guys. I hope it'll be fun. I, you know, I've, I've made some, um, mashed up some morsels before, and it was a lot of fun for me. I don't know if you guys ever did any, but, um, but I really had fun when I was, you know, mixing two or three of the um, morsel techniques together. I thought it was a lot of fun. So... I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Hey, Lucia. Good to see you. 
see if I can outline this little arrow so you can see it a little bit better. It kind of got lost in the background. Outlining stuff always is nice to pop things up off the background. Okay. Hey, Jane. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think it's a good idea. I hope everyone will participate and share them, too, because I'd really like to see what everybody creates on the mashups. And it'll be challenging for me, too. I mean, I will enjoy the the um the challenge of you know putting together things that maybe i hadn't thought about putting together before and so i hope you guys will too i can't seem to keep from writing all over everything today probably trying to go at it too quickly just slow down cat slow down <laughs> make a mess when i do that Okay, so that's a little bit better. I'm going to give him some antenna. I'm going to go over a bump here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. He's getting closer to being done. Yes, this stream will be is being recorded and it will be uploaded later. Linda, yes. Thank you for coming by. I'm sorry you can't stay, but I am glad you came by. Whoa. I just knocked the, uh, pulled the handle down off my cup and splattered coffee everywhere. <laughs> Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Now i got to wipe up that mess. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't spill too bad. It just splashed up out of the top out of the lid okay what a mess maker I am today gee whiz Ugh. and there's sugar in my coffee so y'all know what that means that's gonna be a sticky mess <laughs> I think only the top of this card got wet though a little bit on the back right here yes I definitely will put some white on that butterfly because he's a little dark. Okay, I think just a couple of these got got splashed here on the back. I'm gonna just set them over here and let them air out a little bit and dry up some. Okay. Um, this camera that I'm using is a new camera. It's it's the same as my old one. It's just a newer, updated version. It's a Logitech C922 is what it is and I only use this for um, streaming uh, when I'm making uh, videos I use my iPhone I don't think this camera does quite as well with the color I mean I may have need to fiddle around with the settings and things which I may do before the next stream but my iPhone really records uh, a nice video, really nice to me. And I've, I mean, when I compare the, when I compare what the stream recording looks like to my videos that I record with my phone, there's a big difference. Oh, hi, Rennie. Thank you. Um, yeah, I try to use up as much as possible. I really don't like to waste anything. So, I'm going to add a little bit more inside this, um, this arrow. I don't know if that's a good idea considering the antenna and all are there, but it, it kind of helps it a little bit. It just still wasn't popping out as well to me. Let's see if we can get some white, white on the butterfly. Okay. Hi, Poppy Mary. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> I 
Coffee stained your girl and she has a tan. <laughs> That's funny, Rennie. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Happy Friday. It is Friday, right? <laughs> is it Thursday or Friday? What's today? Thursday? I think it's Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday. You see, I'm so out of out of sync. I don't even know what day of the week it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's Thursday. Right. Thursday it is. Okay. We'll get it together. With all of us together thinking about it, we'll get the right day of the week down here in a minute. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some little dots on my butterfly so he can stand out a little bit more. And... I think instead of dots, I might do some little lines on his body there. <laughs> yeah, Lori, I guess I do. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at a calendar hanging on my wall, and I still said Friday, so <laughs> I know that's bad. That's real bad. Okay, I'm going to put a few more dots down here. Hi, Betty. Oh, I'm glad you caught me live, too. I like for everybody to be able to catch me once in a while. I don't stream often enough for for it to be a normal thing for anybody, so I'm glad when anybody can catch me. <laughs> Life. Okay, I still don't think that arrow has enough. I'm going to have to add a little bit more to it to make me happy. Okay. Hi, Nina. Hi, Ladies Crafts. Thanks, Betty. I love the dots, too. I usually put them on butterflies. <clears throat> I usually put them on everything. <laughs> Am I kidding? <laughs> I'm not kidding anybody. Y'all know I put dots on everything. Y'all know. I think this just needed to be a little bit heavier. And I'll go back and do the antenna again with, with a little bit of white so it stands out when I cover it all up with this. <laughs> there. Hi, Mika. Oh, I'm glad you I'm glad you came in. It's nighttime for you, huh? <laughs> you like my frog? I'm glad. He's just hilarious with his pretty shiny teeth. <laughs> He's so funny. There, now I like the arrow. I think it stands out more now. It just still wasn't doing it for me. Until I did that, I like it better now. Yeah, here's my froggy now. It's it's getting dry. See if we can um, let's see if we can get it in focus up here close so everybody can see it. There he goes. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> it just cracks me up. <laughs> wow. I gotta still do some outline on this card and probably outline those leaves. See what we can do here. Let's see. We'll get this one finished up too and put it in the finished pile. That's my favorite pile over there. <laughs> the finished pile. Well, not really, I guess, because I do enjoy I do enjoy playing and making this stuff, so I don't mind. I don't mind when they're not finished because it gives me more to play with there. Okay. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> the little birdie staring at you. At her. <laughs> this little bird here. <laughs> He's cute. That's some kind of little toy I cut out um, from a magazine. And I'm going to have to do something so that he stands out just a little bit better on that background. But I love him. 
I do love him. And yes, my frog is so hilarious with his shiny teeth. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go around this, um, this little froggy too, just to make sure that he pops out nicely. Because he doesn't stand out enough with those teeth, right? <laughs> he needs to stand out some more. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay. Yes, Nina, that's true. I like your last name. <laughs> that's funny. Hi, Esme. Is that how you say your name? Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Forgive me if I didn't. Oh my gosh, Betty. I live to be silly. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do, just about. <laughs> yes, silly is one of my favorite things. <laughs> if you guys only knew how silly I really am. I think you probably have a pretty good idea, though. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> okay. I'm using uh, my Faber-Castell pit pen to edge uh, the cards just to give it a nice um, black kind of frame, and it makes all those colors pop. Love it. There we go. Hi, Nancy. Yay! She's from Canada. Oh, I'm glad you saw my interview with Barb. That was so much fun to do. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so I think that we are done with the froggy card now. I think he's pretty much, that's all I'm going to do to him. So he, we're going to put him in the done pile. Maybe we should call that the coffee pile. <laughs> the coffee pile yes oh it's 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 proper it's it's coffee stain <laughs> isn't that what we do guys coffee stain things I just did I just did the quick version <laughs> hmm. okay and let's see the bird I still need to attach but I wanted to see if I wanted to do any more to this guy. I kind of think I want to stamp a little bit of uh, script maybe on the background of this one. Just a little bit here and there. Get my, my ink out. <clears throat> Betty, I'm going to use these cards to, um, to put my morsel techniques on the back. I'm going to write down each one of my... Um, appetizer techniques on these cards uh, we're going to use these I'm going to use these to draw from when we do our morsel mashups this year we're going to do a challenge every so often this year and um, mash up a couple of different techniques I'll pull two or three cards and we'll use those techniques on a project and we'll, we, you can do other things as well on your projects but um, the, the the way the challenge will work is you will need to use you know those those particular techniques and I may end up doing like uh, pulling three cards each time and then you can choose to do all of them or just two of them but I think we will do at least two otherwise it's not going to be a mashup so we'll do at least two but you could do all three so I think that's the way I'll do it but I'll there'll be more later about how the how the challenge will work but that's what these cards are going to be used for Okay. Yeah, make sure you guys, if you're not a member of the group yet, um, make sure that you go over to Mixed Media Morsels on Facebook and um, click the join button and we'll get you in so that uh, you'll have a place to post your pictures and then I'll be able to see them all. And also, I was saying earlier that you guys can feel free to post them on Instagram too. And we're going to use a uh, we're going to use a hashtag uh, morsel mashup morsel morsel mashups to uh, to post them out there too. Okay, 
Now I'm going to put an edge on this one, and I think it's pretty much going to be all I'm going to do. Oh yeah, I hope you do, Betty. I I'd like a lot of people to participate. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really, really anxious to see uh, what everybody else will come up with. And um, I'm anxious to see what I will come up with as I challenge myself with it. I may not be able to do the challenge every single month, but I intend to do that as often as I can so that I can play along with you guys. All right. Uh, can, Betty says, can you use the embossing plates like a stamp? Probably. I, I don't know if I've done that yet. Um, it's certainly worth a try. I'm sure it'd be something you'd want to clean off right away after you use them, but um, I don't see why you couldn't as long as you get enough ink or paint or whatever on it. I think it should, should work like a stamp. Uh, it might help to put um, like an old mouse pad or a piece of fun foam or something like that underneath your paper when you're stamping. Uh, it gives it a little bit more uh, give so that you can, you know, get a better impression. Okay, so I might put a word on this one, but I'm going to leave it for just a few minutes to dry and think about what kind of word I would want to put on there. <clears throat> okay, this little birdie is so cute, but I think I'm going to need to put a little gesso on the background there just a little bit where he's going to be standing so that we can see him better. Oh, you're welcome, Mary. Glad you joined up. <laughs> Jane, you having problems with your internet? <laughs> Poor thing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to just move him out of the way and put one little dot. Let's see, I might just put the dot on my craft mat in case I get too much out. This stuff kind of comes out quickly sometimes. All right, just one little dot for now. And I think I'm going to water it down just a little tiny bit. I'm just going to use my finger for this instead of dirtying up a brush for this quick little thing. Okay. Oh, hey, Topaz Dragon, watching from Australia. Awesome. Glad to have you here. Okay. Just trying to see if I can get this a little bit lighter right here where the bird's going to sit. I think he will show up much better. Now, we have a lot of fun over in the group, Esme. Thanks, you guys. I'm glad you're liking it. Okay, so I'm going to dry that up just a little so we can carry on. Let me make sure I've got the right size area here. I could probably use a tiny bit more up near this, this side. There we go. Okay, Esme, um, back in 2016, I started um, creating videos that I called Mixed Media Morsels. And what it is is just uh, learning some mixed media techniques, and we did them on a very small scale. We did them in these tiny, tiny little pages, okay? And so we did like a plastic wrap technique. Okay, let me see if I can make sure that this is going to be in focus for you guys. We did a plastic wrap technique. We did a collage technique. We did an alcohol technique. Um, we did a glue resist uh, technique. This is tissue paper uh, on a background that's all wrinkly, and then we put uh, ink over the top so shows up all of the wrinkles and yummy texture. We did inchies. 
we did circles, we did houses, and whimsical birds, and we did a uh, masking technique. So it's just a bunch of different little techniques for, especially for our people who haven't done a lot of mixed media and weren't sure how to begin and what to do. And also for people who do know about mixed media, who just wanted to participate in the fun of making a little book full of tiny little morsels, you know. So all of these things that you're seeing here are things that we did in that year of um, mixed media morsels. And then in 2017, um, I showed a few other techniques on a larger scale. Uh, some of projects on the larger scale uh, use some of these same techniques and I did some different things and so we did that in 2017 and then this year in 2018 we're doing um, what we're calling desserts uh, the first year was appetizers uh, last year was main dishes and this year is desserts and so this year we're doing tiny little uh, I'll make small like embellishments and things that uh, give your projects and pizzazz and stuff like that so that's what these morsels are all about just um, learning some techniques and learning how to use them not only on a small page but on bigger projects as well and my focus is gone again we're right near the end anyway so hopefully we'll get the focus back there we go. This one was a crackle, a crackle background we did with glue. And a scribble scrabble like we did when we were kids. <laughs> this is uh, stamping uh, a background with a sponge. And this is shaving cream marbling technique on this one. So it's just learning, learning some techniques and sharing them. That's what the group is all about. And we all encourage one another and um, help each other out, you know. All right, I'm going to dry this gesso real quick. No, that's loud. Did the sound cut out? I hope the sound cut out a little bit. Hey, Barbara. You're welcome, Esme. I hope that helps explain it a little bit for you. Yeah, the shaving cream marbling is fun, and kids do love to do that. Barbara, we're having a coffee party. <laughs> so if you want to grab a cup of you go right ahead. <laughs> if you hear me swallowing, that's why. <laughs> I refuse to let my coffee get cold. <laughs> okay, so this little birdie. See, he looks better now. I can see him a little bit more. Because it kind of... Oh, okay, Topaz Dragon. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Ah, Barbara has diet soda in the napping chair. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we know all about the napping chair. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue my bird down. See, yeah, I don't think I think my background has enough going on. I don't need to do anything more to the background, so I'm gonna gonna glue him down, and then I'll give him an outline, and he'll show up a little bit more. I hope I don't tear off his little legs, <laughs> because you know when you get a glue stick after a piece of magazine, it's so easy to tear it. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> oops. Poor little birdie dropped him. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> there he goes. There we go. He's so cute. can see him so much better now. Okay. Now we're going to outline him. So he can pop up a little bit more. I bet this toy is really cute. It's some kind of toy. I think he probably hops around and there's a speaker down here on the front. So he probably makes chirpy noises and stuff. I just saw it in a magazine and thought it was so cute. There was actually two of them, but I'm only using one right now. And uh, I think they're so cute. Really cute. Oh, that's great, Lucia. I'm glad. That was a fun little fun little book to make. I enjoyed it a lot too. And I still enjoy it. Like you said, I look through it often and it's fun to remember, you know, different techniques and sometimes when you just don't know what you want to do, it's a fun thing to refer to and I remember doing that. That was awesome, you know. <laughs> it's a great reminder. And that's what I wanted it for all along, you know, when I first thought of doing a little book just for myself, you know, and it has turned out to be a really good thing. Okay, so there's my little birdie. He looks cute. I'll have to think about a word or a phrase or something to put on there for him because he. He just looks like he wants to say something. Or he's trying to say something. <laughs> Cute little birdie. Okay, I'm going to move him over here for a minute. And I'm going to... I'm going to put that gesso somewhere. Maybe I'll put it on an index card. i got my index cards are all sitting here, so... Maybe there's a place I can just put it on there. We'll just put it on here. How about that? This is how these cards are built, you guys. This is how they start. And how they keep getting stuff added all the time. And so the background keeps building and building. Just like that. Before you know it, you've got a card full of the most awesome background and every bit of it would have been wiped up and thrown in the trash if you hadn't made it. So I just love that. I really do. Okay. Yes, Mary, you really should make a little book. And... Um, Go through the morsels and make them. I think you'll have a wonderful time doing it. I did, and everyone I've spoken to has had a wonderful time making making all those little um, doing the little morsel techniques. So, yeah, you should give it a give it a go. Okay, this I just uh, this is a logo. I don't know somebody's logo for for some business, and uh, cut it out. I just thought it would look pretty on this card, and I think once it's outlined, it will pop out and look really cool. So I'm going to put that on this card. Let's see here. Pretty good. Oops. Now 
Okay. Now we'll just do a little outline on that. Okay, guys, let's see. We're almost around. Almost. Well, these magazine images are really hard to go around because they're so thin. It's easy to slip right up on top of the image. There we go. Try that real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to put some black on the edge. I guess I better close my glue. There's a, a large word that I could put like in the middle of that here. I don't know what it would be, but let's see. This is the Big Chat, uh, Tim Holtz. Big Chat stickers. Bye, Marion. Thanks for coming by. I'm glad you caught it too. This is great having you here. Thanks, Heidi. Thanks, Heidi. What about Discover? Yeah, that might be good. Was, what was Discover there? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Let me see. It might be too long. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Let's trim off the ends, and I think it'll be just right. I think it will. There we go. Love it. Thanks, Betty. Bye, Jane. Thank you for coming by. Hi, Marianne. Cat is live. Yes, she is. Just for a little bit longer. Been on for an hour or so. Let's see. We're going to Go around the word here. So you can see how these words are bigger <clears throat> than the um, 
than the other little words that he does. So that looks awesome. I like that. Okay, let's put some um, edging on this one too. Now he's got a little edge. Whoops. Still need a little word, but I don't know if I want a big word for him. But he is kind of charming. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I like it. I'm going to put charming on there. He's just so cute. He really should go with the prince, but <laughs> prince charming. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Um, how much time do I spend looking for tiny images? I don't really spend time looking just for tiny ones. Um, I just happen to see them when I'm going through a magazine, you know, to, to find any images. Um, but I do enjoy finding small ones and that I can use on these little projects, so... So I'm going to call this little guy done and discover one is done. I need one for this, but I don't need a big word for that. I need a smaller one. Let's see. I might have a, might have a good little phrase, a short phrase in this one. This one's the small talk. Yeah, see, this is one that I got at Tuesday morning for $1.49. Not bad, because they're normally about $5. Okay. Oh, wait. This one was the occasions, though. Let me get the other one. There's another small talk that is not... That's not about occasions. Yeah, this one. The occasions, is, it's got holidays and, and different occasions and stuff in it. Kind of speaking directly to that kind of thing, so... Okay, so let's see. Um... Okay, I gotta understand that, Mary. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to be here. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. <laughs> Ribbon. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, let's see. Um, I like Be Amazed. That's kind of cool. It's a short one. And Be Authentic is another good one. Oh. Uh, Remember the now. Let's do that. Remember the now. That's a good one. Uh, no, Heidi, I don't. Um, I don't have any particular. I just look in any magazines I'm able to get my hands on, really. Um, just your typical ladies' magazines and business magazines and anything really um, a lot of you know images come from ads and stuff like that too so and words too images and words this particular butterfly is um, is a free printable from Pinterest so that's another place you can get some images you can't um, I mean you can but I was going to say you can't cover up with Mod Podge or anything like that these printables from an inkjet printer because the ink will run and smear. You can do it if you do it carefully like with a thicker uh, gel type of medium. And um, But usually I just will leave stuff like that alone and not, and not cover it. If I have to cover it though I will use a gel medium because it's thicker and it doesn't have as much water in it so then it won't doesn't smear and even then when I use it you have to be real careful and not not keep going over it all the time just one or two you know swipes with the brush and then leave it be because you you can end up smearing it if you overwork it you know um, I wanted to take the white 
um, take a white gel pen and go over the um, the antennas here and kind of add a little bit here to that. Hi, Jean. Is your name Jean or Jeannie? I don't remember. I don't remember if I've ever asked you that before. I'm glad you're here. I'm just adding a little bit of black back on top of the white. Then a real thin line with a micron pen. Just a little bit. Yes, that's true. Um, hairspray and fixatives and all those will work. I just can't, sometimes I can't abide the smell of those things. I'm real sensitive to stuff like that and I will get a headache immediately and all that. So I have to be real careful with those. But I've used them both. So yes, you're right. That will work. Okay. So that's going to be, I'm going to consider that little butterfly card done. I love the way that looks. I'm real happy with that. Okay. Hi, Susan. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you got here late. Yeah, I'm going to be heading out here in a moment, but I'm going to um, try to finish up at least one more, maybe two if they're quick ones. Um, I want to use um, a little bit of some... <clears throat> Stenciling on this one on the background before I put these flowers on because this is really busy and of course when you put the flowers in the vase there you can't even you know hardly see them so <laughs> I thought if I used a little bit of white and um, put some stenciling uh, back there it's kind of the same effect as, as using the gesso it would just brighten it up and stop some of the busyness of the background so I think I'll just use the gesso since it's sitting here and get a little sponge and put a little bit of that on this card Yeah, don't forget, you guys, if you um, if you got here late, Susan, uh, anybody else that got here late, uh, this is being recorded, and it will go up on my channel. Uh, the recording will go up on my channel soon, so you'll be able to see everything we did here today. So this looks, um, this looks a lot better already. with a little bit more white in the background so you can see the flowers and the vase much better. I'm going um, to get just a little bit more near the bottom. Whoops. Um, right in here. There. Okay. There we go. Bye, Esme. Thanks for coming by. And yes, be sure you check out those morsels. I think you'll really enjoy them. Good night. Hey, Linda. See you in a long time. How you been? I'm just doing my first little stream of the year. Playing with some cards and getting them ready for our morsel mashup challenges that I'm going to be doing this year, and hopefully everybody will be doing along with me. <clears throat> Just making some cards to put the techniques on the back of to draw from for that challenge or for those challenges. Using up some of my index cards that I've already gotten backgrounds on, and adding a few focal points and some words and things to those. This, uh, I love this with the um, 
with the stenciling on it really makes a big difference to how the uh, the space of flowers looks. I love that. Looks really nice. Hi Deb. Thank you. Glad you could come by today. We're almost done uh, for today's live stream, but it will be um, on my channel. The recording will be on my channel soon. So I do really like this one. Oh, yeah, that's okay, Linda. Hey, we all get busy. I don't get to see nearly as many videos and things as I, I have before, so busy, busy stuff. Lots going on and we do what we can though. I don't hold it against anybody. <laughs> if you can't see them, if you can't see them, I, I get it. I'm trying to find a piece of scratch paper so I can wipe off the tip of my pen. I don't want to ruin it. It gets in the glue sometimes, so. And want to stop writing. There we go. I do thank everybody for being here today with me. I've really enjoyed this. First one of the new year. Hopefully there'll be a few more along and along. Like you guys know, I don't stream on a regular basis. I don't have a special day to stream because I don't, I don't have a schedule like that that I can commit to. But I do enjoy doing it when I can. And I'm glad you all can be here to share the time with me and I get to chat with you all. So now when you guys see these cards being pulled for the challenges, you'll you'll be able to say, oh, I was there when she made that one. <laughs> I remember that one. And I know y'all are going to all be looking for that frog to come up, right? <laughs> and give you a good laugh. Hi, Mary. You got here just in time. We're about to, we're about to wrap up here. But I will uh, be putting this uh, stream on my channel. The recording will go up on my channel for sure. So let's see. Let's see if we can find something about uh, beauty or something like that. Let's see. Let's see. How about life is good? That's short and good. Let's try that. We'll put it here. The flowers are a little to the right, so we'll put the words a little to the left. And a little crooked, because that's the way I do things. <laughs> Still a little crooked. Oh, you guys are welcome. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here. And I'm glad you got to be here for the live stream. That's fine. Okay, outlining the word or the words. 
There we go. And I kind of want to put just a little bit more on this one. I'm not sure why, but I want to put some <laughs> dots. <laughs> of course, now y'all know I like my dots. Just to help brighten it up a little bit because that background is really dark. Okay. It's kind of interesting how um, the uh, paint down here looks like the shadow of the, the vase of flowers. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I like that. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and um, close out. Um, I think we could probably run through the cards real quick if you want to see for those of you who came in late you can see what some of these I had already previously made and um, I did not do all of these on the stream but I did finish up these last few that you're you're seeing here I did some finishing up and actually these these three I did completely other than the background the backgrounds were all already made so so I uh, did uh, these these five I did on the stream today, finishing up, doing finishing touches on these, okay? And um, and then these other ones that I have that I'm considering finished are, um, you know, some that are just have backgrounds, pretty colorful backgrounds that I like. And then I've got um, another one, just see if there's any more with just a background. Yes, here's one. Kind of just pretty backgrounds. This one does have some words. All right. And then I've got uh, Birdie, the one with the tree, and the owl. And then we got this one, and this one, and this one. So all of these are going to have the techniques on the back. And there's a few more that I'll need to make because I need a total of about 30. So um, that's what I'll be working on for the next couple of days. And um, once they're all finished and I have all the techniques written down on the back sides of them, uh, then I'll be able to get ready to start a challenge or to uh, put a challenge up. So I hope you guys will be watching out for those. Um, if you if you weren't here in the beginning when I'm or when I talked about it, uh, we're going to be doing a morsel mashup challenge every so often. Um, it'll be uh, on my YouTube channel, and whenever you create your um, whenever you create your mashup, you can post your pictures on in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group, and also on Instagram. Uh, we're going to use the hashtag morsel mashups, and um, I think it'll just be a lot of fun to see what everybody comes up with. Um, every so often I will draw two or three cards and um, you can use those techniques uh, to in a project and show me how you mashed together the morsels. And I'm going to try to participate as much as possible. I may not be able to do every single challenge, but I'm going to try to do as many as I can. And um, and we'll just, you know, have fun playing together and creating some stuff using these techniques that we've been learning over the last couple of years and that we've been working with the last couple of years. And so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for joining me on the stream, you guys. I'm really glad you um, were here. And yes, if you came in late, just be sure to watch the uh, recording. It'll be going up on the chan on my channel as soon as YouTube processes it. That you know, it takes as long as it takes and. Um, I hope to uh, see you all again soon. I uh, hope to be putting up a video again shortly, and um, we'll have some more fun. Take care, everybody, and uh, enjoy your upcoming weekend. I know it's Thursday, <laughs> but enjoy your weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.
Bye, everybody.